This is a demonstration of how to do a zero parts battery fuel gauge using an AtTiny processor. Uh, I have a power supply hooked up directly to the processor, VCC and ground pins. And then there's an LED just to give it away of indicating what voltage it's seeing. Right now I have the power supply set at 5.1. Normally you would be using a battery to power this circuit, but it would be a really boring video if I made you wait for six months while the battery ran down. So I'm going to have a variable power, power supply instead. So here we're at five volts on the power supply and it's blinking five times hopefully. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to simulate the battery starting to go dead down to in the four volt range. And now we should be getting two, three, four blinks. Keep going. If we go down to the three volt range, now we should get one, two, three. And down to the two volt range, one, two. And then this part can even run down to the very high one volts. Let's see if we can get down there. Yeah. And now it just blinks once very dimly. And I can turn it back up again as long as I don't go past 5.5 volts because I would blow out the chip. Back up to 3.2. And that's it. You can detect your battery voltage using no parts.